Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to my stop on the not too shabby August box of the month hop. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create today and find out how you can hop along and be entered to win a gift certificate. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Every month on the first of the month, Not Too Shabby releases a new box of the month. And let me tell you, you do not want to miss out on these. This kit contains three stamp sets, two paper pads, and two packs of ephemera. Now later on in the video, I'll give you a close up look, but as you go along in the hop today, you're gonna see lots of different products from this kit used. Speaking of the hop, this is a hop with a giveaway and later on in the video I will give you all of those details on how you can enter to win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. If you're not already a monthly subscriber to the box of the month and you want to snag today's kit, I wouldn't wait too long. I have a feeling it's going to go quick. Down in my description box below, I do have a link to the website so you can pick this up. Now, if you choose monthly, you do save a little bit extra and you're insured a kit each month. While you're there, I also have a coupon code that you can get 10% off most other items in the store and they have their own products as well as a variety of popular brands, so I hope you'll check that out. For my project today, I'm not going to make a card. Yes, I said it. We're going to be doing a little home decor piece and I'm excited to get started. So let's go ahead and see the main supplies that I'll be using. Here's a look at the main supplies I'll be using today. As always, if I add anything else later on in the process, I will be sure to let you know. But if you do have any questions, you can always leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. From the box of the month, I'm going to be using some pieces from the Fall Sunshine Paper Pad and I'm probably going to do some decorating with the coordinating stamp set and ephemera. For the base of my decor piece, I'm going to be using this wood frame from Michaels. I got this over the weekend, I think for 99 cents. I thought with the boards on the background that it gave kind of that fall vibe feel. I will be using some white paint to just paint the edges and some of the creases and then to get my paper adhered to the piece I will be using some Mod Podge. And of course my favorite for this, the foam brush. Let's get crafty! Today's project is going to be a little messy so I'm protecting my work surface with a clear cutting mat and some wax paper from the Dollar Tree. I did make sure that I cut my piece of wax paper long enough or wide enough so that I would have room on the sides to use as kind of my paint palette. And speaking of paint, what I'm going to do first is use the white paint and my foam brush to paint the outside edges as well as in those little creases. Now I am going to do two coats, so here I'll kind of show you how I get started on my first one. And I just use a little glob of paint there off to the side, and then whenever I need more paint I can just throw some more on there. I did go ahead and move the clip at the top a little bit so I could start painting the crease up there, but I didn't want to move it too far and move it into the paint that I had already done. So I move it as far as I can and paint around it and you'll see later how we clean this up. I set this to the side for about 10 minutes to dry. While that first coat of paint is drying, let's take a closer look at the items in the kit.
While that first coat was drying, I did rinse and dry my brush off for the second coat. And while I am putting that second coat on, I thought I would tell you more about today's hop and giveaway. Today's hop is a hashtag driven hop, which means you will click on the hashtag in the title to get to a page with all of the videos. I know that you're going to want to stop by each one and see what they have created with this wonderful box. After you've watched it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave some love in the comments. Now subscribing to each channel is not required, but it is definitely appreciated. Once you have visited all of the stops on the hop, you're going to click on the raffle copter link in the description box and enter to win. You will have until midnight on August 7th to enter and the winner of the $25 gift card will be announced on the Not Too Shabby channel on August 8th. Happy hopping and good luck! To decorate the frame, I chose three pieces of pattern paper from the Fall Sunshine Paper Pad, two of the sunflowers, and one of the white with yellow polka dots. For each of the boards, I cut strips of the pattern paper that were 1 and 7 8 inches tall. Because there are four boards, I did need two pieces of the sunflower, but later you'll see how I use those up. Because the sunflower pieces won't completely fill the frame left to right, I did cut some two and a quarter inch strips from the polka dot paper. Now if you are not going to punch it with this scallop border punch like I did, you would just cut these strips to two inches wide. Once I had the border punch done, I cut these into pieces that were one and seven eighths inches tall. Once all of the pieces were cut, it was time to go ahead and get these put on the frame and to do that I will be using Mod Podge. Now if you look at these, I don't have the pattern flow from top to bottom just because one of the pieces would always be left out. So that is just why I mixed and matched those. If you've never decoupaged or used Mod Podge before, you basically use this like a glue and a sealer. So I placed some on the bottom board of the frame and put down my sunflower paper on top. Now you might want to use like a credit card or some kind of scraper to run across there to make sure you get out any air bubbles underneath the paper. Then I'm going to add a little bit more to the left and I place my scallop piece to cover up that open area. You do want to make sure that you get underneath the scallop part that overlaps and get some right to the edge of all of the pieces. I continued this same process for each board on the frame and then when I got to the top you'll see there's kind of a cutout that I need to make. I placed down my piece of paper where it would go pressed into the top of the binder clip with my fingers and then I had an idea where I needed to use my circle punch so this piece would fit there. Then this gets put down just like the other three. Once those were all in place I used more of the Mod Podge to seal the top and all of the edges and the creases. Now I let this dry for about 20 minutes and it's still a little tacky to touch. If you're going to give this away you probably want to leave it out in the open for a few days at least. While I was off camera I did add some twine and yellow ribbon to the binder clip just to make that a little bit more festive and now I'm going to show you some ideas of how you can use it. It definitely fits a 4x6 photo. You could put your pumpkin patch photo in there or just a nice fall photo you took. And it will fit that same 4x6 in portrait. You can do a 5x7 landscape or if you make a little scrapbook page, you could do up to 6x6. Now I did use up those scraps to make a fall card and you could always clip one of those into there as well. I hope you enjoy these close-up looks at the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this quick and easy decor piece using the latest box from Not Too Shabby. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to go visit all of the other stops on the hop by clicking on that hashtag in the title. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye.
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.